You can pretend to be someone you're not, just like your father. What's the name? Father, I... Simon told me that your father was a drug-dealing killer disguised in a Tom Ford suit. You're the same, but instead of a tailored suit, you're in some college hoodie. So after each episode of Ghost Season 2, I made an emphasis on topics that were being taught at Stansfield. It set the theme for that particular episode and what was happening in the game outside the classroom. It also gave us an insight into what Tariq St. Patrick was thinking and where his mindset was. Now why Season 3 is that much more intriguing is the fact we not only have Tariq St. Patrick in this class, we have also going to be able to delve deep into the minds of Diana, Effie and also Rebecca Weston. And just a small mention for Becca, she is someone who I do think will have an increased role as the season goes on. And this is why. I have the opposite problem. People think I'm smart, but they don't recognize I'm a bad bitch too. She said she's a bad bitch, which is in reference to perception and reality and how the world perceives her, but is the way you're perceived your reality? That was the lesson in episode 1. But it has to be said, the relationship between perception and reality is quite complex because the perception shapes our understanding of reality. It isn't always an accurate representation. In other words, there is no truth, there's only perception, and we can break this down in a number of ways. But for the sake of this analysis of Tariq St. Patrick, we're gonna break down who you say you are as a person is very different to how the world perceives you. So in Tariq St. Patrick's case, the perception and reality of who he believes he is, is different to what others think. For example, how Sebastian Stern said what others have said in the past, Tariq was exactly like his father Ghost. So in the rest of this video, we're going to be breaking down Tariq's perception versus reality using the ruthless strategies of Alexander, why he killed Bash, but how his past could still haunt him in more ways than one. Because just like how Sebastian Stern came to collect, we may finally see in the return of 2-Bit, which is something I'm going to come to later on. Now I have made reference to Alexander the Great before and how Tariq will never be able to step out of his father's shadow unless he adopts the ruthless strategy of Alexander. Don't let your parents define you. You can be anything that you want to be. And that advice, I'll give you for free. Davis McLean once said to a young Tariq, don't let your parents define you. You can be anything you want to be. But who is Tariq St. Patrick becoming? He's becoming more and more like Ghost as he sees him goes by. The very man he's trying to defy. But by brutally stabbing Sebastian Stern in similar fashion to how Ghost killed a drunk driver in power, he's showing very similar traits to Ghost, but just in a different way, which is something I'm going to come to in just a moment. But if Tariq St. Patrick really wants to step out of his father's shadow, he needs to adopt some of the principles of Alexander. Now, Alexander was a great military strategist who was known for his ruthless tactics in warfare. He had speed and agility, he was able to adapt to different situations and circumstances, he was able to innovate and he was also skilled at using psychological tactics to intimidate his enemies and he was never afraid to use aggression. But most importantly, Alexander's strategy characterized by a ruthless approach, the pursuit of victory at any cost, even if it meant killing on his way to victory and those are the characters you need to have in the street game if Tariq is ever to survive but also come out of Ghost's shadow, because this was something Ghost refused to do at times, especially when it came to Maria Suarez, and we all know how Maria Suarez came back to Season 6 to haunt Ghost. Now in Ghost Season 1 and 2, Tariq was showing very similar traits to his father when he paid Epiphany off to leave, as well as letting Lauren go in Season 2 when he knew she was a snitch, but not anymore. It seems that this Tariq St. Patrick is beginning to show he's different, and killing Sebastian Stern and showing the aggression is a classic example of how, but let's dissect his relationship with Bash and what made Bash come back and why Tariq had to send him six feet deep. Now, we were introduced to Sebastian Stern in season one of Ghost. We learned he was married to Simon Stern. And just like how Stern took a liking to Ghost, Bash took a liking to Tariq St. Patrick. Now, Tariq approached him to create Course Correct, an app which was disguised as a tutoring app but was a front for how he and Brayden were moving away at Stansfield. Now, what motivated Sebastian Stern was, of course, what motivates any of our characters, dollar bills. It's what Brashandre related to with America, but also how we can relate to power. Money equals power. So Sebastian Stern was always looking how course correct could benefit him. Because just like in the street game, the boardroom really is no different, except businessmen are taking your cash through papers and contracts. Now, we later saw Sebastian Stern return in season 2, when Tariq needed to transfer the company over to Brayden. Tariq needed to show a legit income if he were to ever stand a chance of being Yasmin legal guardian and this was crucial to what we saw play out in season 3. Bash knew the creator and mastermind behind Course Correct was Tariq St. Patrick and holding information like this in power really is like holding a smoking gun. Now at the beginning of season 3, 
we saw Bash return, where we learned him and Simon were going through a divorce, but the prenup meant he was trapped for cash. And based on our previous analysis, we know how much he loves money. He approached Tariq and threatened to go to the NYPD within 7 days and tell them about course correct if he didn't come up with a way to pay. Very reminiscent to how 2 -bit came to collect from Tariq in Season 1 and I'm gonna come to him in just a moment. But one thing we've learned about Tariq St. Patrick is, he will always try and find other ways which doesn't involve murder, and he approached Simon Stern with a business opportunity, one which would benefit both of them. This was also something he learned in one of his lessons in Season 2, where both parties can gain from any given interaction. You scratch my back, and I'll scratch yours. So Tariq's proposal was Bash helped him create a legit business where he's able to clean his cash, because he will be making a boatload of it through working with Nomar. But this business meeting really did turn ugly real quick, when Bash said that why would he work with Tariq St. Patrick when all his friends end up dead, or worse. He told him he's exactly like his father Ghost, which goes back to your perception, your reality. Simon told me that your father was a drug dealing killer disguised in a Tom Ford suit. You're the same, but instead of a tailored suit, you're in some college hoodie. Bash said that Ghost was a drug dealing murderer dressed in a Tom Ford suit, and he was the same, but he was just dressed in a college hoodie. And why was Tariq surprised when he said something similar to Ghost once in power? This is who I am. These suits don't change who you are, and that school can't change who I am. But why Bash had to go was because he said it himself. He could ruin his life at any time, and he owns Tariq St. Patrick. And this is where we saw the ruthless aggression from Tariq St. Patrick, stabbing Bash to death. So I guess one way to poke Tariq is to tell him he's exactly like his father, which is why he may be fueled even more to try and be better and smarter than Ghost was. But this is where we say goodbye and rest in peace to Bash. Now the reason why it makes sense to bring up the topic of 2-bit in this particular video is because in similar fashion to where Bash came to collect from Tariq in episode 1, someone who we haven't seen to come back to collect is 2-bit. Now in the latest crew has it live where they did a watch party and spoke about Ghost Season 3, Gianni and Michael Rainey Jr. as well as Brett Mahoney spoke about the potential return of 2-bit and how he's done something that the character of Tariq St. Patrick hated in Season 3 of Ghost. So if 2-bit is returning, it seems like he's about to ruffle the feathers of Tariq St. Patrick. But could he also give Tariq some much needed help? Let's think about this for a moment. We know 2-bit is a street soldier, and a real one at that, who ain't no snitch. So as Tariq sets up his operation in Wall Street, potentially Stansfield with Effie and Diana, and however Kane chips in, we know that's not gonna be enough. Tariq will need to create an infrastructure and a network, and so we're gonna start to see Tariq slowly building his very own organization, and I think 2-bit could potentially help. Alternatively, he could very well be a problem. Either way, it finally seems that 2-bit may be finally in for a long awaited return, so where Tariq may have got rid of Bash who came to collect, it seems like in essence 2-bit will take his place. So with that being said, that's a breakdown of Tariq St. Patrick and how he's becoming more and more like his father as each episode passes by. So drop all your thoughts and perspectives down below on Tariq St. Patrick and the ruthless strategy of Alexander and the potential return of 2-bit. Oh and this may be a small minor detail, but remember, 2-bit still has Ghost Rolex and Ghost Watch Collection was passed down to Tariq. So technically this watch belongs to Tariq, whether he wants this back or not, let's wait and see. But I do think it was worth a mention. But that's all for this one guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.